Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you what to do when the Windows 10 build install fails with error 0x80200 f This type of error usually occurs when trying to update the system to the latest Windows 10 builds. The causes can vary from incorrect network settings, problems with the USB devices or problematic temporary files. So let's take a look at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is making sure that you're not using a metered connection. To do that, click the start button in the lower left corner and then click on the settings icon. When the settings app opens, navigate to the network and internet section and from the left pane select Ethernet or Wi-Fi depending on the type of connection you're using. Now select your connection in the right pane. Find the set as metered connection option and then set it to off. After making this change, check if the problem is still there. Several users reported that after they disabled the metered connection feature, the issue was resolved, so be sure to try that. Another useful solution is disconnecting all USB devices. We have all sorts of USB peripherals connected to our PCs and sometimes these devices can interfere with the update process. To fix the problem, it's advised to disconnect all unnecessary USB devices from your PC. As a rule of thumb, you should just leave your mouse and keyboard connected and try to update again. You can also run a disk cleanup. Sometimes temporary files might be corrupted and they can interfere with the installation process, so it's advised to remove them. To perform a disk cleanup, do the following. Click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type disk cleanup, and then click on disk cleanup. Select your system drive by default C. Now click OK. Your PC will now scan the selected drive. And after the scanning process is finished, select all files on the list and click OK. If you want, you can also click the Clean System Files button in order to remove additional files. After cleaning the old files, try to install the update again and check if the problem is still there. And another useful solution is running SFC and DISM scans. You can do that by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner, then writing CMD. Then right-click the command prompt and run as administrator. But before you utilize the SFC tool, enter the following command in command prompt and press enter. Afterwards, just restart Windows if the DISM tool makes any changes. Then reopen the command prompt and input SFC slash scan now in the prompts window. Then press enter to initiate the SFC scan, which might take 20 to 30 minutes. Restart Windows if the SFC scan informs you that it repaired files. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.